Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Idle Heroes of Light on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. It packs a punch with mega performance upgrades and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Idle Heroes of Light and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Idle Heroes of Light. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else mates, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite internet browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to the next URL that I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you can discover on the screen. You don't need to type this URL, because I provided a clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first main comment. We arrived right here on our website of Usatility, at which we have a nice precise description on how you can obtain Idle Heroes of Light on PC. We browse down a bit and just click on the Download Game on PC button. After clicking on this link, we get to the website of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to run to enjoy the game Idle Heroes of Light on our PC. It is now obvious that we have a number of pros of preferring this emulator. Then, we are ready to proceed to download the Idle Heroes of Light by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green color. We then click on it. Of course, the download starts and ends immediately. Here it is. Here is located the download. It's an executable file. What we have to do is to launch the installer, so we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the computer. We have clicked yes. I reduce the internet browser to see the installer better. The installation software is quite simple. It consists of two possibilities, install and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path does. We just click it. And then we observe that we have here the path in which the emulator can be put in. If we prefer to change this directory we need to click on the Browse button, and we opt for another folder and set up the emulator precisely where we prefer. I am going to set it as it is. I simply click back, and therefore I simply click Install. Great. The setup starts and it's going to progress together with the download of those megabytes which are shown on the screen. When you download it, it could possibly be a bit more or less MB. The download rate might go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, determined by your web access and depending on the speed of the emulator hosting servers. At the moment they're running incredibly fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator happens to be launched instantly. As you will notice, down here, there is a progress bar that will fill up when it gets into the end, the emulator is going to be launched for the first time. The reality is the emulator was already launched, here for the very first time. Before we continue on, as you can observe, it has created two app icons right here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon is definitely the one we are considering. Whenever we would like to launch Idle Heroes of Light on the laptop or computer, we twice click on that software icon and therefore start the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should perform the next step, that is a must-have, and that's to log on to the Google Play Store. And we are going to simply click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is started. Here we need to log on. Right now as soon as we are there, we must absolutely begin doing this next step that is obligatory. So we click on Sign In. At this point it shows Checking Info. It can from time to time get stopped at Checking Info and so it isn't going to move forward. In that case, you could try to log in in after a number of hours but it will surely quite likely be fixed. At this point we will enter our email and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email and its related password. For example you may use the same email you use at the moment in your own YouTube account. So that I am going to submit my info and I'll return when I have done it. That's all. Details entered. 
And here is Google welcoming us and presenting us the twos. We are going to approve all of them by clicking on, I agree. After that, it make us possible to back up to the Google Cloud. You could keep it checked it's going to create a backup of the data on this device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you do what you want. We just click on accept. The Google Play Store is launched by default and instantly. To set up the app, we have got to go to the Android emulator desktop by left clicking this icon marked green colored. Currently that we are watching the desktop of the Android emulator, we can see that we come with right here the install game button. We mouse click on the button. At this point we get the game. Why don't we mouse click there on the install link that I'm displaying now in green. This will begin the installation. At this point it is going to download on your desktop or laptop and set up the game. It will take some time or it could be very fast. It again all is going to depend on the connection to the web. This has actually ended setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by pressing this button I'm presenting in green, so that you can launch Idle Heroes of Light for the first time. I am by then on the emulator desktop, and we are on the way to just click on that new Idle Heroes of Light app icon that's been created. That video game is launched for the first time. Here we get it. I could click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to discuss the volume of this emulator. This is here. We have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This way we won't depend on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of your emulator. As well as to take pleasure in the experience to the fullest, we could activate the big screen, for which we have two options. That is actually the first one, we just click on that software icon which I am identifying in green. Then the monitor is maximized, having one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In the case that we wish to enjoy the video game using all the screen, we click this particular icon. So we would likely already be experiencing the gameplay in full screen setting. To exit the 100% screen setting, press the F11 key. So we would probably already end up being in standard computer screen setting. From now, I am starting to show you the computer keyboard mapping and that is really quite appealing. This means we will be able to use the game application a lot more effortlessly. The first task is to click this software icon. It's now time to make the required setups. I'm going to put the default configuration, however if you desire to change it, you may very well do it now with no problem. As you can notice, the emulator is totally in our language. In some cases it occurs that the emulator is started in the wrong language, as an example, in Chinese language. So to place it in the right language we click here to the cogwheel. So there within additional configuration settings, we just click on the language drop down. We can easily decide on the language we prefer. Spanish, Chinese, etc. Once the language is determined, we could save, the emulator will reboot, and also the video game, next time we start it, will also be in the opted for language. At this time, there's another detail that we will need to take into consideration, and it's that we will get a message from Gmail telling that a brand new device has been connected to our Google account. It will likely question us if we're the individuals who have associated with that device. Yup, we ought not be troubled since the emulator is simulating an Android tablet or smartphone. And then to discover which device is being emulated, we come back here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. Be sure to go here to the model option, and right here we realize that the emulator is acting as a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for the training. I hope that you enjoyed it, specifically that you found it helpful. If so, give it a good thumb up, subscribe, and any feedback, issues or suggestions, put them in the comment field down below. You may also leave a remark on my Twitch channel, I do live streams occasionally, you get it listed below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Check out any of the instructional videos that are appearing on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the following training videos. Bye.